Hey guys, so I wanted to share something with you today um, that happened to me recently. And I would ask that no matter what side of the fence you sit on when it comes to um, lockdowns, vaccines, and just COVID in general, I would ask that you would take a few minutes and just hear me out. So about a month ago on December 7th, I was rudely and abruptly silenced by a number of regional councillors and mayors at a public health committee meeting. Um, it's one thing to see the massive censorship that's happening on social media, but it's quite another to experience your own elected politicians who you pay to represent you go to the lengths that these people went to to stifle free speech. Um, anybody who knows anything about history knows that this is a huge red flag. So anyways, the reason that I was presenting to council was because when I look at the public health data and the statistics on their own websites, they are painting a very different picture than the politicians and the media. So I basically created a slideshow and I was, uh, I sourced everything from their own government data and I was to present it to council and to Dr. Herji and I was going to question why there's this discrepancy. So as soon as the meeting starts, they immediately try to remove me with uh, procedural technicalities. When that failed, this magical email appeared supposedly from Niagara Health um, stating that some of the information in my presentation was misinformation. Okay, now I'm going to remind you, everything in my slideshow was sourced from their own sites. Okay, so um, anyway, so the chair then advised that if council wanted to, they could remove me from the agenda. So Walter Sensick quickly, quickly puts up his hand, um, starts the motion, the motion's carried, and I am removed from the agenda. Okay, now as a taxpayer, and as a business owner in this community, um, also as a person who just ran in the federal election and received almost 4,000 votes, I think it's quite concerning that my voice has absolutely no merit in the public square. That just doesn't make any sense. So anyways, not a word was spoken to me. Um, I wasn't even acknowledged. There was absolutely no follow-up communication with me, okay? Other than my request to speak at the next meeting. Because listen, I'm not gonna back down and they're not gonna silence me that easily, okay? Because I deserve answers, you deserve answers, and we all deserve answers, okay? So tomorrow, Tuesday, January 11th at 1 p.m., I am scheduled to speak at the next Niagara Public Health and Social Services Committee meeting. And my spot is confirmed by the clerk though she will not submit this supposed email from Niagara Health, even though regional council requested it be submitted in the minutes, she has thus far refused to do so. So anyways, why I'm asking you and what I'm asking you to do and why I'm sharing this is because I'm asking you to share this with everyone and everyone, everyone and everyone, everyone and anyone that you know in Niagara, okay? And I'm asking that if you can, that you would please tune in and watch my delegation tomorrow at 1 p.m., okay? And let's see if these people call their own information from their own government websites disinformation again. Thanks for listening. I hope to see you guys there. Okay, so Rebecca Hahn, uh, as you have been requested, please uh, take a moment to share this with anyone and anyone. <laughs> And uh, tomorrow, the link is in the description. If you want to watch, you can watch live at the uh, public health meeting at the Niagara region. Peace, love, hug your neighbor, take the mask off your face, and I am out.